our city tomorrow we're going to Mount Elwell which is near Gray Eagle which is probably about 13 miles up the road here but I'm going to be hiking on Pacific Crest Trail tomorrow well Pacific Crest Trail runs all the way to Mexico 1,200 miles approximately and then it also can run to Canada 1,454 miles. So that's Pacific Crest Trail there. It should be a really good trail. There's lots of lakes around that whole entire area that we're going to be going to. So stay tuned in the video for all that, guys. Hey guys, look, we just arrived at Elwell Lakes Lodge in the National Plumas Forest. Hey everybody, we just got situated in our little cabin at Elwell Lodge in Blairston, California, a little before Gray Eagle, and we're having a blast. So Justin's going to take you on a little tour of our little cabin, it's called the Frank Cabin, big enough for two people. This is this the little cabin here, but it's got a little deck as you can see. The deck's not too big, five feet by five feet. It's basically a base camp for hikers. Yeah, it's a base camp for hikers is actually what it is. At least we got our browning set up and our camp chef stove because all they have inside this cabin is a hot plate. So let's go take a little tour of the little cabin. <laughs> So, what's inside the cabin is a little bit of storage space here. And actually half our gear is still in the car. All our gear packs and backpacks and ammo cans, what have you, is all in the car. We didn't even set up our chairs, but they have a little dining room table right here. Over here they have a little fridge. And then you see the hot plate and tables and dressers and this is where all the magic happens right here. On a little teeny bed. On a little teeny double bed. <laughs> God, I haven't slept in one of those since I've been a kid. So, but it's pretty cool. They got a little washroom, you know, bathroom right here. It's not too big. Walk-in closet. Haha, <laughs> not walking. <laughs> but yeah, the, it's going to be a fun weekend here at Elwell Lodge. A lot of backpacking and everything. It's beautiful. It's about, I think it's at the 6,000 foot elevation. I can check on my GPS and tell you guys later. It's Labor Day 2014. What is it, babe? Labor Day 2014. Well, Labor Day weekend. So I'm hiking to Bear Lakes. It's a little above Gray Eagle here. It's a nice trail. Just a little bit rocky. Um, the weather's ideal today. It's really windy. So you're not sweating as much. But I should be coming up on um, Bear Lakes pretty quick. Matter of fact, I see it right now. We're at it right now. Not too bad of a hike. I think it was about, if I remember right on my GPS, two miles approximately. I'll check in a minute. Here's the lake, guys. It's beautiful through here. Now, don't forget, we're having that drought, so of course it's going to be kind of low. It's not going to be the best conditions that it should be at. A lot of people come up here to fish and hike all through this area. So this is Bear Lake right here, beautiful. My wife's not hiking with me today because her legs is way too bad. But I thought I would do this little short two mile hike before we checked into our cabin. We're staying at that LL Lake Lodge. You can check it up online. It's a pretty cool place.
So we're still at um, Bear Lake right here. I'm down to the bottom of it. There's a couple people fishing out here or something. Huh, that's kind of weird. I didn't think they could have a boat up here. I guess this lake's bigger than I thought though. So we're at the Big Bear Lakes. Big Bear Lakes, the elevation is 6,631 feet. And the distance from here to our cabin is 1.5 miles, so less than two miles. Sorry about that. Um, but like you can see out here, it's just beautiful. There's a couple people up here hiking around and checking in the area out, doing a little fishing. Um, it's real windy up here. It's probably like 35 mile per hour winds, but you always need that kind of um, wind when you're going hiking long distance, which tomorrow I'll be hiking to Mount Elwell, and I'll be climbing about 1,500 feet in elevation. So I'm at the top of the mountain here, and I'll be heading towards Long Lake, which is a quarter mile left. Tomorrow I'll be hiking to Mount Elwell. So right now I just reached Long Lake. It's like at the 6,700 foot elevation. And let me tell you, there's a lot of wind up here. It's blowing about 45 miles per hour. I've been on this hike for about two and a half hours so far. But it is sure beautiful out here. Look at this lake, guys. Look at that. It's unbelievable. This is like the mountainside I've been hiking on, you know, in certain areas like hills like this. And I'll be hiking to that Mount Elwell. It's probably somewhere clear over this hill and then up on another hill. It's another 1,500 foot in elevation. But I just wanted to show you here, Long Lake, it's one of the bigger lakes here in this area. All the other lakes you'll be seeing are a lot smaller. It's pretty cool. It's got like a little island out here. Look, little island. You can have a picnic out there or whatever. You can walk on the rocks all the way to that island or swim out there, whatever you prefer. It's really nice. Well, that's Long Lake right there. So, t so today we're passing by Bear Lakes here again, um, and I'm heading to Mount Elwell um, to check the top of Mount Elwell out and all that. Pretty nice trails to walk on. Real rough terrain though, I'll say that, but they're, they're wide, you know, and they're not on edges of cliffs or anything like that. So let's move on. So we're still looking at Long Lake, but we're looking at Long Lake, like almost horizontal on Long Lake. I'll take you from the end of the lake. I mean from the, I'll take you from the beginning of the lake. Down towards the end of the lake over this hill and ridge over there. So right now on my hike, I this approach Silver Lake. It's in the Plumas National Forest. Let's check it out. It's not too big of a lake. All these lakes are going to be really small. There's only a couple big ones up here, but there's tons of different lakes, let me tell you. How's that look? Pretty wild, huh? Yeah, so I got two and a quarter miles to go to Mount Elwell. We'll probably be seeing a couple more lakes as we go. I'll be film, filming all the lakes on this trail, basically. I can. So I just came up this trail right here. As you can see. And now I'm above Silver Lakes. And then looking on over to my left here. I have a lake, I just haven't checked it on my GPS yet, I'm not sure of the name, 
but I'll get it in the video as soon as I know. So, we're up here, getting close to 7,000 feet in elevation, and it's windy, which is keeping you cool. I'm drinking lots of water and I'm hydrated, definitely. Okay, so let's be climbing up these cliffs here. All the way over to there, through there, and out that area to get to another level. I gotta bypass all this. So I just thought I would show you where I'm at right now. I got a couple lakes behind me as you can see. I got one, two lakes behind me. And then moving on over here, got another lake right here. It's so beautiful up here. Still got another almost two miles to go to Mount Elwell. So far the, the way up here has been the hardest. The way up, the climb up here to Mount Elwell is one brutal climb. Not only that, you're working against the altitude and everything, you know. Hey guys, so we just came up on another lake here. It's a small lake. Beautiful views throughout here. Look at all this. This is awesome. So another little lake we came up on called Mud Lake. The elevation dropped about 500 feet. Here's the lake out here, Mud Lake we're looking at. It's not too big of a lake. It's overgrown with a lot of shrubs and tons of trees. But I just came down off of this hill up here. Still gotta get up to 7,000. 860 feet elevation pretty close to that to reach Mount Elwell here's a little bit of the train around here so you see how much I dropped down in elevation that's 500 feet I dropped down basically right here to this trail and not too many people are out here so my protection is my Glock 20 it's a 10 mm it's in my pack right now because a lot of people are hiking on this trail. I didn't want to freak them out even though it's no big deal. But it takes only a zip to unzip the backpack and it's loaded. And I do feel safe. Well, let's continue on down the trail to Lake Basin area. Well, let's check out this sign. So here's a few things you can do in the Lake Basin area. So we're almost reaching the top of Mount Elwell here. Just want to show you a bird's eye view before I get to the top. It's pretty awesome. Man, this is one long hike. I mean, you got to be really fit to do a hike like this, to hike through these mountains like this. Otherwise, you're going to be up shit creek. So, hey, I wanted to do a couple shout outs. I wanted to do a shout out to the One Eye Patriot. If you haven't checked out One Eye Patriot's channel, go on over to his channel and check it out. And hit the subscribe button. Tell him Guns for Fun CA, Gina and Justin sent ya. Also, I want to make one other shout out. To the Lumber Man, 2011. Stop on over to the Lumber Man's channel and hit the subscribe button and tell them Guns for Fun, CA, Jana, and Justin sent you. I really appreciate it. God bless America. We're almost there. Don't tread on me. 
So far I haven't seen no bears out here or nothing. Which is a good thing, but I got my Glock 20 10 mm for backup. It's beautiful. Look at this. I'm just stopping for a minute to take a breather, take in the view, rehydrate myself, and all that good stuff. So, if you ever get a chance to come to California, go hike the Mount Elwell. One of the highest peaks out here. It's at 8,000 feet, close to 8,000 feet. It's one hell of a hike though, but it's beautiful. It's, a, it's worth every step you take to get up here. It really is. Hey, Jana, you in? Jana. Yeah, I'm here. How's my girl? Getting on the bed watching the movie. They don't got no cable out my way. <laughs> right here, that's how far I have to go. And then I'll reach the top right there. I made it up to Mount Elwell. Got my American flag my dad gave me. It's going to stay up on the top of the hill. I can't get all the lakes in, but I got one of the biggest lakes in. You can see a bunch of lakes around me. There's like three to four different lakes, but right now what we're looking at is Long Lake. That's what we're looking at right here behind me. We're at the 7,864 foot level. I hiked from her lodge to Mount Alwell here. And it's a four mile hike. So I got four miles back, a total of eight miles I hiked today. I've been drinking plenty of water, eating some trail bars that I have in my pack here. Jenna, I love you, honey. I made it. How's my girl? I missed ya. I'll be back soon. No injuries yet. Just kidding. But it's one hell of a hike. This terrain is just unbelievable, let me tell ya. It's wild, but the views around here are beautiful. They're outstanding. Well, I'm gonna pack up my camera, grab a bite to eat, Get plenty of water and have like a juice real quick and then I'll probably head back so I get back before dark. Way before dark. Okay, see you guys. Here I'm coming up a bridge on the lake basin area. Looking at the stream right here. Not sure of the name of it. I'll check on my GPS pretty quick, but it's pretty nice through here. Nice place to relax and have a trail bar, you know. So I want to show you this product I got. It's the Sawyer water filter. I'm out here hiking in the woods. I just came up on a lake here. I'm at Grassy Lake. And I'm gonna fill my bottle up and put this Sawyer water filter to the test here. So I'm filling my bottle full of water. And now what I want to do is screw the Sawyer water filter on it. This is going to filter your water. It's going to get it 99.9% .9 clean. So you squirt it in here. 
And you kind of hold it on an angle here so none of the bad water drips into your bottle. And you can do this over and over again, you know, to make sure the water is going to be clean. So this water looks pretty clean to me. And it tastes pure too. It tastes really good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through here over and over, back and forth, back and forth through my Sawyer mini water filter. I recommend having one of these on any hiking trip, hunting trip, what have you. Go check it out. They're not too expensive. They come with a straw. You can adapt a straw to the end and drink right out of a river with it too as well. It comes with a flusher, a syringe flusher. That comes with it so you can flush it out after every use, which is a really good thing to have. Well, I just wanted to show you that while I was out here hiking because I do need water. So here's a little peak of Grass Lakes. I'm down here at the bottom. Just chilling out down here having a trail bar and some water. It's not one of the best lakes around here that I've seen, but it's pretty nice. And that must be the reason why they call it Grassy Lakes. There's a lot of grass in here. So we're at LL Lake Lodge here. We're cooking some ribeye steak and two lobsters here. We're having a blast. We cooked lobsters the second night, right babe? Yeah. Yeah. And those turned out really good too. So this is our last night, which is Labor Day. Happy Labor Day to y'all, 2014. And there they are. Zoom the in. Tongs. Zoom in. Check those suckers out. There they are. And there's my cook. Hey, man. <laughs> you having fun? Yep. Yum. What are you cooking on your little stove, honey? Peas and corn. And garlic bread. Mmm. Yum. Look, Look at, at that. Those. What a dinner that's gonna be. Turn this steak over and see how it looks. Nope, it's just a little longer on the steak there. Here we are at Gold Lake. So this is the last lake that we're going to be at before we head on home. My cousin told me to check out this lake, so I thought we would stop by here and check out the lake, the lodge, and the campground. But here's Gold Lakes. Beautiful. It's pretty nice. The, water's, the water level isn't too bad for having a drought here in California. Campground's right over here. And then if you move on over this way the lodge is over here in those trees right there and you hike down to the lake or you can hike all these mountains if you want here at Gold Lake I've been to most of the lakes around here quite a few of them so far how do you think this trip was overall honey? a tan, a tan definitely one beautiful area that we're in here yep. in the Lake Basin area Plumas National Forest so we thought we would try out one of these hammocks with a bug net but our other hammocks a double hammock this is a single hammock and I'm having problems getting in it not only that up here it seems to be fraying a little bit on this rope here the paracord? Um, no, it's not paracord, it's rope, actual rope, but it's a small, look, look how small this is. The length of it's really small, but there's so many mosquitoes where we're usually camping everything, so that's why we got a bug net, but 
If you weigh 200 pounds and you're six foot, I recommend getting a double hammock, just straight up a double hammock, or don't get nothing at all. I'm telling you the truth, because we've got a couple different hammocks now. I mean, it's a cool pattern and everything. It's, it's good for kids? <laughs> it's good for kids, exactly. It's definitely good for kids. Um, or you can throw a dog in there and just like wrap it up and eat them in there. How about that? Okay, so that's with the hammock. I'm not impressed at all. Don't get one of these if you see one. <laughs>